One of the coolest things that I, I love about the city in general, I'm a really big city person. I don't know how to explain it, but like I love the way that it feel, how it feels, how you could be part of something. Like when people are walking around and you're part of it, like you kind of get their energy as well and you don't feel like you're completely alone, if that kind of makes sense. That's why I love the city. That's why I want to go to New York and one of the biggest cities in the world. <laughs> So it's day two of my tour here in Japan. Tour. So it's day two of my trip here in Japan. So I have quite a bit planned for today. I am going to Shibuya and see what it's like going shopping there because apparently there's like a whole strip of just like vintage shopping, thrift shops. Today's mainly just about going to Shibuya and seeing what I can buy and what I can cop, you know what I'm saying? But one thing that I've learned here in Japan or while being in Japan is you're gonna be doing a lot of walking, okay? So if you're planning a trip to Japan, just keep that in mind to bring something comfortable for your feet. Okay, I probably brought the wrong pairs of shoes here in Japan because I thought I wanted to be, you know, fit in with the style and the culture of streetwear here in Japan. I mean, everything looks good, right? I brought Jordan 4s, my unions, and I also brought Jordan 1s, my mochas. And they are not the most comfortable shoes to wear when, you're, when it comes to walking. So they're probably gonna get comfier shoes, switch up my shoes for different ones. I, I missed the bus, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. One of the best advice I could give you guys, if you're coming to Japan, why am I speaking like a local? I'm not even a local, but one of the things that I've learned coming here is getting yourself a Suica card. So if you have any Apple thing, you can put it in your Apple wallet, because I think you can't get the actual cards anymore because there's a complete shortage of those cards, but you can get it still in your uh, Apple wallet. So getting that and then loading it up with your credit card is one of the best things you could do because you're gonna be doing public transport a lot because taxis, Ubers in Japan is really expensive. And the next thing that you should know about Japan is everything is going to be on time and Google Maps is going to be your best friend because not only does it tell you what time the train or the bus gets here, it also tells you what car you should get on so you could transfer easier to your next stop or whatever. Alright, so we got off at the bus here in Shibuya. So this is what Shibuya is like. But before we go shopping, there's one thing that I really wanted to do here in Shibuya, which is being part of the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. One of the coolest things that I, I love about the city in general, I'm a really big city person. I don't know how to explain it, but like I love the way that it feel, how it feels how you could be part of something. Like when people are walking around and you're part of it, like you kind of get their energy as well and you don't feel like you're completely alone, if that kind of makes sense. That's why I love the city. That's why I want to go to New York and one of the biggest cities in the world. All right, so the Shibuya Crossing is off the list now. Damn, it was quite an experience, but I'm not gonna lie, it was smaller than I anticipated, um, which kind of just proves how good... Ooh, look at that car right there, bro. I didn't expect to see any uh, American muscle in Japan, but here we are. Okay, I, I see a store that I want to go to first off. Is It's called Second Street. It's like a vintage kind of thrift shop or a reuse shop is what they call it here. It's just right across the street, right there. So I might as well go and check it out and what they have in there, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get it. All right, so Second Street, you could, I wasn't allowed to film in there, um, but they had some pretty interesting pieces for Supreme. Uh, they have a lot of Supreme, actually, to be honest. They also had a pair of Jordan 3 black cements but they're really expensive and they're pretty beat, so I don't really want to get a pair of Jordan's uh, black cements that's really beat. But it's only for $130 Canadian, which is not bad, but the condition is kind of like a 4 out of 10, so that's not kind of worth it, you know what I'm saying? Alright, our 
our next stop will be Supreme. Um, we have a store in, in Shibuya, so I'm gonna go check that out and see what they have pieces. Hopefully I can film in there. If not, I'll probably just do a haul at the end of the video, for real. All right, so I just got out of the Supreme store. There's actually not much in that Supreme store. Uh, I mean, that's all we can get, and I wasn't allowed to film. But the next stop is Kindle, which is a secondhand store. And we'll go check that out. Hopefully they let me film. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Alright, so we're out of Kindle. They had a pretty nice good selection of used shoes as you saw in the video. They're pretty decently priced as well. They're not that bad. Here's the thing, I feel like I'm converting everything which is the wrong thing to do if I want to go shopping in Shibuya or in Japan. Because if when I'm converting, it's just like, I'm, I'm like, oh shit, this is expensive. And then you're just like, okay, I'm not gonna buy it, you know? But at the end of the day, the, the reason why I'm converting is because I'm thinking, okay, well, this is used, it's secondhand, right? And I shouldn't be paying closer to retail or at least for a brand new pair or brand new piece, you know what I mean? So I think we'll have better luck finding pieces in the next stops that we're gonna make so so looking at Google Maps apparently there's another Kindle store we're gonna go to that and then it's close to Nike and then it's close to the Jordan store so we're gonna go check that out um, so here we go another trekking thing man it's like I'm, I'm like literally going on a hike right now for real so I found a store I just kind of stumbled upon it a secondhand store again. I was actually gonna buy something. It was the off-white dunks. I don't forgot what lot it was, but it's not my size. It won't fit me. So I don't want to buy anything that's not gonna fit me either. But I was actually ready to pull the trigger on those, but it wasn't meant to be, man. It was not meant to be. True affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. So I think I stumbled upon an actual, actual thrift shop, which is awesome because everything is actually cheap cheap like thrift shop cheap so we're gonna look and see what we can find in here all right so we got some goods <laughs> i guess this trip wasn't for nothing i guess i got i just got a tank top which i found really nice and it was really cheap so i was like you know spot of thrifting So we got a few things here at the Jordan store just to commemorate my trip in Japan they have like I think exclusive Tokyo uh, merch or like uh, shirts so I just got some shirts shirts they also got some pretty cool shoes in there but I I don't know man like they're not my style they got some Jordan 1 mids got some fours but not my thing you know so let's still go to Kindle I guess I don't even know where I'm going to be honest with you We secured, oh, I mean, it's in this bag, but we secured something in here. Um, they have pretty cheap piece, pieces of off-white, so can't pass up on those, you know what I'm saying? So, And one other thing that you guys need to remember if you are a tourist coming into Japan is always bring your passport because there will be places such as Kindle, which takes them and gives you a tax-free discount on everything that you buy. So. That's kind of cool. You get another discount on top of the cheap thing that you're buying. So it kind of works in your favor.
All right, so we are arriving at another destination, which is Nike. And this is kind of the first for me because Nike typically is orange, right? But in Japan, it's green. I'm realizing it now that having a big vlogging camera in the busy streets of Shibuya is not the best idea. That's why I couldn't talk to you guys. Um, like I said, if I am not able to talk at all, I am just going to do a haul at the end of this video. So if you want to stick around and what I got, I'll show you guys. After all that shopping, I am pretty hungry, so I'm gonna eat at this restaurant right in front of the Kinji. So I'm actually famished right now. So let's eat. I am so full right now, but like I said, if there's a big lineup outside that's probably worth your time, it's probably worth checking out. So that's kind of my advice when you go into Japan. <clears throat> I don't know, I think I wanna go home now, for real. My camera's about to die. I'm getting pretty tired, so I'll see you guys at the hotel. Peace.